Hey guys, uh, it's a Sunday lockdown project here, um, and this is my original Mark II uh, Prusa printer, and uh, it's time for an upgrade to make it what they call a Mark 2.5S. And so the reason this has been working fine, it's been a workhorse for the last couple of years, but uh, on the Mark II you print directly on the hotbed. And uh, this has now started to get all gouged up and when I like take prints off the bed it has actually started to bring pieces of the bed with it. So I thought we need to uh, move to the new system which is the heat bed with all the magnets fitted and then you fit this uh, spring steel sheet onto it and so you print on the sheet steel and uh, thus preserving your heat bed. Um, so the upgrade kit is a little bit more complicated because because of all the magnets in this the little wiring sensors for the uh, thing to do auto bed leveling and all that stuff are kind of a little bit different and so uh, it requires a different sensor uh, in the extruder and so essentially you end up re end up replacing the whole extruder as well as the bed and so I won't video all that because I'm sure there's a gazillion videos on YouTube on how to do all that stuff. If anything of particular interest props up along the way, then yeah, I'll highlight it. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will all uh, move along without incident. Uh, what I might video in a little bit more detail is there is a another mod, um, which is a way of replacing the standard stepper drivers that are in the Mark II with uh, silent trinamic stepper drivers and uh, I don't think I've seen a video anywhere of this being done so I might video that one in a bit more detail we shall see okay so to get this nozzle out of here um, the official way to do it uh, if it's in the printer is you heat the whole head up and you remove this when it's hot um, obviously not practical for me to do right now inside of the printer so I'm going to use a heat gun, see if I can heat it up a bit, and then um, see about getting it off. Because when I did this on the Mark III, it really was a nightmare because the old one is covered in gunk. And so it's really hard to get a socket or anything on it to undo it. Uh, you got to get a lot of this stuff off first. And so, yeah, bit of a mess. We're going to give it a go, see how we get on. Well... Well, it wasn't pretty, but I think we got there. I had to uh, clean all the gunk off with a chisel because it was too hard. The uh, the old exacto knife wouldn't do it. Um, and then the uh, force to get it out when I finally had it uh, heated up was quite considerable. I thought I was going to sort of shear it or something, but it came off and the other one went on a lot easier. So hopefully we're good to go from this point. And another couple of hours later, we have the heat bed refitted and all the wiring and stuff uh, ready to be hooked up. So I think uh, since it is now night time, uh, we will call it quits for today. And tomorrow I'll do the electronics. So a new day dawns. Uh, at this stage, I think it's pretty much mechanically and electrically all back together. So we're ready for the uh, setup. Um, one thing I completely missed, which is kind of important, I guess, is the uh, the controller housing was redesigned for the 2.5S. I didn't realize that, so uh, I didn't print them off. <laughs> um, so for now, I've kind of shoehorned all the cables in. Um, it works fine, except for the uh, on top here. Um, and so I've just sort of uh, squished everything in and uh, so I could close the door and we'll see if it works.
Well, it took a while to get there, but we got there. I'm gonna let this uh, do a little bit of stress testing.